What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, the Bad Diggity Dizzle, back with another New York Giants video. And in this video, I'm actually pretty excited to do because, as you all know, I'm an Oklahoma Sooner fan. And there's been reports out there that the New York Giants are very interested in and will interview Kenneth Murray uh, next week at some time. Obviously very interested in this guy, and, and they should be. I mean, Kenneth Murray is an amazing linebacker. As a Sooner fan for the last 15 years, I can tell you there has not been one defensive player on this team that's ever got me excited to watch him play defense until I saw number nine at Oklahoma. Now, Kenneth Murray does not have the coverage skills of a linebacker. and We all know that the Giants are very weak uh, with our coverage linebacking skills, which is a big reason that I want Isaiah Simmons, no doubt about that. And people can say we have inside linebackers. We have Ryan Connolly. We have Blake Martinez. But one thing you guys got to realize, is when you run a 3-4, you need a plethora of linebackers, guys. Guys need plays off. Guys get hurt. You need depth at this position. What Kenneth Murray lacks in coverage skills, he makes up for in every other facet of the game. He can rush the passer. He's incredibly aggressive against the run. The guy's motor never stops, and he's got that dog in him, man. He wants to knock you out. He's incredibly aggressive. He's a full motor guy. He's a full effort guy at every single play. He has a great attitude. That is a type of teammate that you want. That's the type of teammate that makes you better because you watch how hard he plays on each and every play. I love his ruthless aggression. I love the way he plays defense, man. he That's the way a defender is supposed to play. Like I said, just a, a full, a non-stop, full effort guy gives you 110% on every single play. And on a team that had a really bad defense in Oklahoma, this guy was the shining star. Now, of course, Neville, uh, Neville Gallimore is also projected to like go third round. He's a very good defensive tackle at Oklahoma, but he's not the sexy pick. And Kenneth Murray is a guy that has a huge highlight tape. His tape is very important impressive. You look at his highlights, man. I mean, he just knocks people the hell out. He tackles you by the head, which I always think is kind of hilarious, but he's really good. He's really aggressive, and again, I absolutely love watching him play. I love his game. I love everything about Kenneth Murray outside of the lack of coverage skills. There's no doubt about that. Now, the problem that Kenneth Murray kind of presents for the Giants is where exactly would they draft Kenneth Murray? Because we're not taking him fourth. There's no doubt about that. There's no way he goes fourth, and he's not falling to 36. He's not falling there. So I don't know what the Giants have planned exactly, but getting Kenneth Murray on here is going to take a trade. And and a trade, <coughs> excuse me, a trade back and then a trade back up into the first round. If they trade with Los Angeles and get the sixth pick and then get number 37, maybe they take 36 and 37 and jump back up into the late teens, early 20s and snag Kenneth Murray from a team maybe like New Orleans that is looking to get a guy like Kenneth Murray. But this news excited me, <coughs> excuse me, this news excited me a lot because again, I'm a big Kenneth Murray fan. I loved him in Oklahoma. And anytime you can get a sooner on the Giants, I'm always, uh, you know, very happy. But my my thing was always get the defensive players from Clemson, get your offensive players from Oklahoma. This is the one time where I can honestly say I would love to have uh, an Oklahoma sooner on defense on the New York Giants. But again. How do we get Kenneth Murray? It would be definitely very difficult. If we're going to take a linebacker on the second round, I could see maybe Patrick Queen falling down there, Zach Bond, obviously. But I don't think Kenneth Murray ever gets to 36. So if the Giants are going to find a way to bring number nine here to the New York Giants, they're going to have to, like I said, trade back and then trade back up. They're, they're definitely going to have to get back up into the first round if they want Kenneth Murray. But it's always good to know. It, it excited me a little bit to see that they are interested in Kenneth Murray because we hadn't heard anything about him coming here until recently, which was today, I found out this article. And, uh, you know, hey, I'm excited to see if, if uh, the Giants did do something to bring number nine in here. We go Jedrick Wills, uh, number four, and trade back. I'm going to get Kenneth Murray at like a 19 or a 20. I'm going to be very happy with that first round. There's no doubt about it. So let's see what they do again. It's all speculation. It's all fun. They're interviewing a lot of guys. There's no doubt about this. They bring a lot of people in here to interview to see what they do. But Kenneth Murray will be interviewed by the New York Giants next week. We'll see what we do. I cannot wait till Thursday so we can all find out exactly what the hell is going on here. Anyway, uh, until tonight, man, enjoy the rest of your Friday. It's the Bad Diggity Dizzle, and I am gone. Peace!